Hello everyone, and today we're back into some more Lumion Legacy PvP, and today we are showcasing Samarine. So, I'm running the Brawny Nimble set. It's a water metal type, and I love Samarine's design. Probably one of the best in the update. Power Cuff, I got three attacking moves and Sharpen, Rev Up is the ability, and these are the TPs, 200 in the melee attack, 200 in the speed, 28 in the energy, and... 64 melee defense and 8 in the health is honestly just left over. So, let's see how it does here. Unfortunately, it looks pretty bad against this team. There are a couple things I can hit, like Metatode, the Clip, Luminami. There are a few things, but it, this is overall going to be a kind of tough battle. And there's another, and there's a Santa Mars too, which that thing is kind of scary. I think I'm going to leave off of Tundralin. Hunterlin just looks pretty solid to lead with. Let's see what he leads with. Protagon. Hmm, this is fun. This is fun. Like, I don't know. I want to have some fun with this and actually attack him. You know what? I will. Like, let's see. Can it live with a metallic pearl? Let's see. Let's see. Can it live with a metallic pearl? It does. Like, I didn't know if it did or not, so I just wanted to check. It does. Like, I know it doesn't matter. Like, I know I probably just lost Tundra Lin, but you know what? I wanted to try something. Protagon's dead. That's one of the biggest threats gone from my Samarine. Which is awesome. To clip pops on in. I have Terra Claw. I can go into it. He's probably going to go Mutagon, I assume. He's probably going to go Mutagon, which would make a lot of sense, honestly. Gloomish Roar. Doesn't do that much. I'm going to predict the Mutagon, because Mutagon is really scary. It's worth a prediction. i got to get Samarine into this Eclipse. That's the thing. I can't swap into it. I need to bring it into this Eclipse. Probably as a Revenge Killer. That's probably how I'll get it in. He did actually predict Baneful Bash. Wow. Yeah, this Fenomars... Yeah, this Fenomars is going to be rather tough to beat, and I kind of don't want to give it the ability. I kind of don't want to give it that ability. If there was an ability I'd rather give it, it would probably be Sharp Claws, or... Actually, Noxious, no, Noxious Weeds would be a good ability to give it. Yeah, let's do that. Considering this would be the only thing really for the Centimars, it's Sharpen. Oh, it's Sharpen. It's a setup one. Uh-oh. I'm gonna burn up then. Because I outspeed Centimars. He's definitely hasty then, if he is that. Yeah, he's clicking Sharpen. That's scary. Yeah, Fenomars! It's one of those Lumions I did not really want to see. I'm going to go for two burn-ups, and then I'm going to start attacking it. I think it's worth just attacking this thing and getting rid of it. Yeah, he's getting very greedy. He is getting super greedy. He's getting super greedy. I think I can get it down to half health. Let's see. Oh, yeah! You'd love to see that. That probably one-shots me. It does. This is actually a good time to get Samarine in, honestly. This is a great time to get Samarine in. Let's do it. Samarine, you're in. This is a great time to have you in the battle. Aqua Jaws? Now, please don't miss. Thank you. Okay. Samarine got a KO, and it got Rev Up. Nice. That was perfect. That was the best thing that could happen. If he goes to Clips, I'm going to set up. I basically get a setup. You will love to see it. Because I'm not, I would rather get a setup and get hit rather than get hit by a Steel Crusher. So I am going to go for a Sharpen. I could probably live one hit. Gloom Roar is going to do a solid amount, but I live the hit. Now I have 100% accuracy moves, which is perfect. I'm going to go for a Steel Crusher, get rid of this Eclipse. I love how it's like a giant weight. Like, Steel Crusher is one of the cooler move animations in the game. I'm already doing some work here. Got rid of the Cinemars. Got rid of the Clip. Let's see what he has left. I can lower something's melee defense. If it's Mutagon, I can lower his melee defense, unless he uses Quick Punch. Luminami? Thunder I have Thunder Chomp, so... Yeah, I can Thunder Chomp twice. Do some damage to this thing. I don't think I one-shot it, but I do a lot. Thunder Chomp is a really good move for it. Flash and Flee... I still... I don't have Chartiki, actually. Huh. I don't have Chartiki, actually. That is kind of scary. Huh. Huh. 
Ha. 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 I don't have Chartiki. <laughs> ha. Luminami might be a problem. Now, I think it's worth predicting the Luminami. I am probably going to lose Submarine here, but I think it is actually worth predicting the Luminami coming in. I mean, I think he's just baiting. Nope, he didn't bait. It's fine. I still get some free damage onto it anyway. Oh, I flinched him. Well, I, I lose Submarine the next hit anyway, so, you know. Let's just flail at it. Let's flail. We're just going to flail at it, do some extra damage to the Metatoad. I lose Samarine, but it doesn't matter. It did its job. Cycle Slap takes me out. And I think Vesperatu wins me the game from here. So, yeah, let's go into Vesperatu. So, yeah, Samarine in its very first match did very good. I have Vesperatu. I don't think Luminami is going to get enough health back. It might be able to live one hit, but that might be it. So let's see what he does here. I could definitely take out Metatoad. His only chance to win is potentially going into Illuminami and hoping I could Phantom Slash, but there's literally no reason to when a lot of Esperatus run Dark Essence. Even though mine run Spirit Essence, a lot of them run. He left the game, I'm going to count that. That'll be GG. And we're going to head on to the second battle. Alright, we're into the second battle now with Samarine. And let's see who he has. He has a Spear Knight. Nice. Spear Knight, Bar Blast. Stratosaur. A lot of things I really like. Tundraland's iffy, but it, it works. It works still. It can still work. I'm going to bring Bar Blast for that Tundraland. Oh, I am going to bring Samarine too. Yeah, I'm going to bring them both on it. So bring them both in the water type too. It's pretty good. Eliguana is kind of scary, but again. Yeah, I can't hit Eliguana. It just hits me hard in return. So it is scary. It is a scary Lumion. I'm going to bring Tundra in. Oh, actually, I want to bring Zulong. Zulong looks pretty good. And I am going to bring something for... I do want to bring something for that Eliguana, though. Eliguana is scary. Yeah, I am going to bring this thing for the Eliguana. Because I want to slap it down. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it back. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to lead with... Yeah, if I lead with Zulong, I can actually Ancient Draw out. That'll be the plan. Let's do that. He led with Bar Blast. He probably used Volt Pearl. That would make sense if he's Volt Pearl. Let's see. I'm going to go for Thunder Strike. Let's see if this guy's Volt Pearl. Because these things can sometimes run it. Eliguana. I got baited. I got debated pretty badly. I got pretty badly debated. Oh! Never mind your secret ability, it looks like. Okay, looks like your secret ability, Eliguana, then. Because that would have... He would have absorbed that otherwise. He would have absorbed that otherwise. I weakened him. Now, we're going to go in... He's going to click a light move. So, I think I should go into Bar Blast. He might... So, yeah, let's go into Bar Blast. Even if he could potentially click Thunder Strike. Okay. Dang it. Dang it! I should have known that Pace is a thing. I'm going to throw a Toxic Bomb out there. He is at minus one. He could click Magnify, though. Magnify is a thing. Magnify is a thing. He swap probably in the Bar Black. Stratosaur. And I got Paralyzed. You just love to see it. You love to see it. I could win this 1v1, depending on what... He swapped out again. Who are we going to? Barbala? Okay. Paralyzed again. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. I swear you can't make this stuff up. Oh, it's a setup one. Oh, you're kidding. It's a setup one. Three in a row! Are you kidding me, RNG? Are you kidding me? You're really going to do this to me, RNG? Ah... Swap it into Vesperatu, I guess. I probably just... If he attacked me, I probably just lost Vesperatu. Okay, he's power-focused again. He's getting greedy, thank gosh. I'm slapping down. Three paralyzes in a row. Three in a row. Three in a row. I'm literally losing my sanity. Three in a row. He loses energy orb. That's good. It hacked me, though. Water bomb. How much will that do? It's gonna do over half. Never mind! It one-shots me. There, well, there goes my Eliguana. There goes my Eliguana swap. 
There goes my El Iguana swap in right there. There goes my El Iguana swap in. I'm clicking E Bird. Uh, I, uh, yeah. He swapped, thank God. He swapped. Swapped into El Iguana. Unbelievable scene. All I gotta say is unbelievable scenes there. I got paralyzed three times in a row. That is just ridiculous. Can't flash and flee, thankfully. Jeez. I'm going for burn up, so that's kind of the only thing I can really do. Fireball has probably one shot me. Stratosaur hops on in. I gotta burn up off. I gotta burn up off. Hopefully I can just one shot Stratosaur. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe what I just saw there. Are you an offense? Let's see. Are you offensive or defensive? I'm not sure what set you run on your Stratosaur. You're defensive. Okay, you're defensive set. This probably doesn't one shot then. Yeah, that doesn't. Stratosaur's tanky. How much will this do? Crypto. Pull hit. Samarines are coming in. You're a defensive Stratosaur. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. Please don't do more than half. It doesn't, thank gosh. I'm going for I'm going for a sharpen. This is honestly the only hope I have left. Going to the Samarine is honestly the only hope I have left. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe her. Oh, you saw Tundralin. I totally forgot about the Tundralin. I totally forgot about the Tundralin. Unbelievable. Unbelievable scenes here. I cannot believe what I just saw there. I was gonna do this. I did, that, that is the only thing I can do. How much will it do with Body Crash? It does so much damage. I have to attack it. I have to attack it. This has, I have to get a crit, basically. I have to get a crit. I have to get a crit, basically. Crit. Give me RNG. Oh my god, I just one-shotted it straight up. I just one-shotted it straight up. That is insane. Okay. Okay, Samarine, please clutch up. <laughs> That's all I can really hope for. Clutch up. Faraglyph. It's probably melee. That would make sense. Yo, Crusher. Oh my gosh. Please, Samarine, clutch up. Please clutch up here. Plus two, you can do it. Your power cost. Oh my gosh. Clutch up here, Samarine. Clutch up. He saved his map. Although he still has Bar Blast in the back. He has Bar Blast and El Iguana still. He is just going to sack Stratosaur. Although, if he goes to the Stratosaur, he might not take me out. He might not take me out if he goes Stratosaur, unless he crits me. He goes El Iguana. Oh my gosh, there's a shot here. Aqua Jaws. I don't care if he goes in the Bar Blast. I just need to damage it. He lowers his melee defense. He lowers his melee defense. It doesn't matter. He lowers his melee defense. His melee defense is lowered. Oh, I does so much damage. I'm just going to flail at it. I am basically just going to flail at it and hope the rest of my team can beat El Iguana. Yep, that's basically what I'm going to do. Basically hope the rest of my team can beat El Iguana. Just flail at it and hope the rest of the team can beat El Iguana. Fireblast is dead. Okay. There's a shock. I know I'm flailing, but I need to do extra damage. It's basically all I can really do. Scatosaur hops on in. I basically got to play on the Stratosaur. And then hope the rest of my team beat... He forfeited! We'll head on to the third match then. Alright, we're into the third battle now with Samarine. And looking at this guy's team, it looks alright. There's a Canobo though, which we see high. Oh, that's scary. And there's also a Swolder. There's also a Tata. Wintrix I can probably beat. I'm alright against Wintrix. Not not good though. A Citragon, maybe. A Citragon is a mixed bag. Yeah, Citragon looks pretty bad actually. I'm not sure how I'm, I'm gonna beat it, but I'll try my hardest, I guess. You can actually beat the Sochi, alright. So yeah, I might actually bring that against the Sochi. I'm gonna bring Paraclaw for the Snagoop. I don't really have anything for the Snagoop. So hopefully he doesn't lead with it. He did lead with it. Jeez, that sucks. That really sucks that he led with that. Best by media. 
the Eleven with the Snagu. Kind of the one Lumion I did not want to see, but you know what? I'm going to swap out and I'm going to click Slap Down. Let's do that, I think. Yep, Summarine's going to get swapped out. I'm kind of impressed on how Summarine has done so far. Like in that last battle, he completely clutched up. Muck Blast does some solid damage. I'm clicking Slap Down. I know you're going to go into your Upsidragon, so... Yeah. Go into your Upsidragon here. It loses its item. Yep, it loses its item. Unfortunately, I don't really have a swap in for it, but, you know, it's worth just slapping down its item. It's a chocolate bar of Citricon. Interesting. I want to go Summary and we the Body Crash. I have to go Bar Blast. That's the only swap in I have. Even if he has Earthquake, that's the only swap in I have for this thing. I don't have to clip. I don't have to clip on this team. Makes this very tough. So yeah, I'm gonna swap out. Let's see what he does. I'm not sure I'm gonna get Samarine into the battle. All I know is that it's gonna be rather tough. Primal Slash, good. I predicted the swap. That did like no damage. We're gonna go for a poison. We're gonna go for a poison for never mind. I should have never just I should have never went for the poison. <laughs> I should have never went for the poison. Okay. Alright then. Alright. Okay. This is gonna be rather tough. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I could go Samarine, but I don't have any setup. The best play is to honestly just go into Zulong and click Elemental Burst twice. I don't know if he wakes up though from Beast Slumber. He swaps. What do you go into? Cannibo? Is that fine for me? I could probably one shot Cannibo actually. It has no range defense. So I am actually going to put Thunder Strike. Problem is, if I lose too long, I'm in trouble. I have to get rid of this Cannibo though. This Cannibo has to go down. Thank you. Thank you, Zulong. Long. Cannibo's dead, which is awesome. Is Obsidragon's asleep, which is perfect for Samarine. If Snagoop is still alive, which he goes into now, please just let me... Please just sack the Snagoop. Please just sack it. Please. Oh, he sacked it. Thank you. He sacked it. I love ya. Good. Now, Samarine can come in, and he could do really good stuff. Samarine can do some very good stuff now in this battle. Hopefully he doesn't go back into Upsidor Ground. Hopefully he goes into something else. Hopefully he goes into Wind Trick. Go into Wind Tricks here. Wind Tricks would be awesome here, actually. I, I know I could just KO it, but there's no reason to, and I could just Ancient Roar out into my Samarine. Ancient Roar. Now I could save Zuong for the Obsidragon. If this, if this leads to a lot of trouble, I could save this for the Obsidragon. Samarine, you can come in. Thank you. He comes in. My, my Shark Arena, he has my he has Mud Spatter. He has Mud Spatter. I'm gonna click Steel Crusher then. He is Mud Spatter. That is very unfortunate. I'm clicking Steel Crusher then. Well, let's go into a fourth battle then. Okay, we're into the fourth battle, and hopefully we don't have any forfeit. And this team is scary. He has his own submarine. He has a Zulong, which I gotta bring you for. Gotta bring you for the Tyrex. Gotta bring you. Whipple Trip? Whipple Trip is bad. Because of Glide. Although, I can defeat Whipple Trip with this. I can bring this in against Mochi. Yeah, honestly, everything beats me. Oh no. I gotta bring that because there's a. There's this thing. You now, I gotta bring as many things for that thing as I can. Honestly, he kind of looks better than this. I can use you for Tyrex if I need to. Yeah, I have Tundraland for Tyrex, so yeah, let's do that. Let's lead with Zulong. Hopefully, he does not lead with Zulong. Hopefully. He has a lot of stuff. Actually, yeah. That Tyrex is scary. He might lead Tyrex. And if he does lead Tyrex, I'm going to Ancient Roar out. Well, unless he's not terrifying. Let's see. He does go into Zulong. I'm going to go into Tower Claw then because... I am not risking a speed tie. He's going to risk a speed tie, but I'm not. 
I'm not risking a speed tie today because there's a good chance I would probably lose it. Yep. <laughs> you went for it. Now, who would you go into? That's definitely brute force. I can 100% confirm you that is brute force. I want to predict the swap. I want to get health back, so I am going to click Parasitize. Even if it's Tyrex and terrifying, it kind of doesn't matter. Whipple Drift? Huh? Whipple Drift comes in? Okay. That's not necessarily a good swap. I got Baneful Bash. I can live two Air Blades. And a magnified an air blade, so that isn't necessarily the best swap. Oh, he's making a big mistake. Does this take him out from this range? I don't think so. That's a lot. Poison? Oh, come on, no poison. Okay, I'm gonna go for Cyclone Slam then. You don't take me out. And you still go for the air blade. You still go for the air blade. He goes for, he gets a glide, although now my. Now my Terra Claw's low on health. My Terra Claw's low on health now. That sucks. Terra Claw's now low on health. It's just going to make it so tough for the Zulon. Now I might have to rely on the Speed Tie. Oh, Revenine hops in. Oh, yeah. I don't like Revenine. I don't like it. I don't like it. Zulon, come in. I basically need you to soak a vengeance it. Spectral Burst? Okay, I'm, I'm going to live that. Pretty well, actually. Okay, it looks like he's not vengeance. I could have lived that. Good to know. So I am actually going to click Elemental Burst. I don't think anything really wants to come in. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about Tyrex. Never mind, I forgot about Tyrex. Although I still use Elemental Burst it, so it's not the end of the world. Is he Health Amulet? He probably is. Okay, is it Health Amulet? Ancient or out? Perfect. I could probably go... No, I don't. I can't go into Summary. I gotta go into... I gotta go into Tundra Lin. So give me a plus one boost. So I have to go into Tundra Lin, Which I will do. Yep, put Earthquake. Which gives me a plus one boost. He doesn't have anything that can swap in. Yep, oh, you need to go into a Zulong. Revenine. Revenine, Revenine, Revenine. It's always Revenine. Actually, Samarine goes into it. Oh no, it, I'm neutral to Fire Breath. Forgot. I assumed Water type. I get okay. Interesting. Interesting. Aqua Jaws, please hit. I need you to hit Apple Chalk, please. I know I'm relying on RNG, but please. Yes, Revenite's dead. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now I outspeed anything in the game. Even if Zulong comes in, I'm just going to attack it. And I am just going to attack the Zulong, because this thing is scary attack. This thing is scary attack, so Steel Crusher, I hit it. Big damage. Elemental... First, I might live that. Oh my gosh, I live. Can Summerine sweep here? Yeah. Which has more of a shot at missing out of the two moves? Which move is the best shot at hitting? They're both 90%. Oh no, they're both 90%. I'm going to go after Jaws. He has dodge, okay? He has dodge. Good to know. Just missed Aqua Jaws anyway. No, I didn't even miss. Darn, I didn't even miss. I'm going to Aqua Jaws in case he swaps out. Okay, I hit it, but I'm not out of energy. So it, the Saturday did good. It took out the Zulong, which I really need it. And I took out the Revenant, which is awesome. He's probably going to go Tyrex now. Which, there's honestly no reason for him not to go into Tyrex. He left the game again. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, this is like the third unfortunate circumstance, but this is the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Semarine. Semarine really shocked me today. It did very well. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye.